Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about Azure Private Link and see a small demo of it. Azure Private Link enables us to access past services, for example, Azure Storage, Cosmos DB, and SQL database from our VNet resources uh, using a private link. Normally, what happens if you have any past service, for example, Azure Storage, and you access it from your VNet, it goes over the public internet and goes to the past service. But with a private link created in our VNet, we can access those services over Azure Backbone. The benefit of Azure Private Link is that you do not need public IP addresses at the source or destination and all the data goes through Azure Backbone network. So it is pretty much secure. It will not go over public internet. Not only from VNets in Azure, if you have on-premises networks and you have paired them with the VNet, even they can use Azure Private Link to access those services over Express Route uh, private peering or VPN tunnel. Another benefit of Azure Private Link is that you can have your services as well set up in VNet, which other people can access using Azure Private Link. And this is called Private Link Service. In this video, we will create a Azure Virtual Machine, create a PaaS service, and we'll try to access it over private endpoint. So first of all, we will create a VM and a PaaS service. So this is my resource group. There are no resources in it. So I will create a VM, a Windows 2012 R2 VM in it. I will give the name VM1. I will select the location as Australia Southeast. Windows 2012 R2. I will change the size. specified the password RDP is enabled so I will pause the video till the time my VM gets created VM creation is going on so in the meanwhile let me create an Azure storage account I will put it in Japan West STO. I will give it a just a random name. So I will pause the video till the time it gets created. My storage account has been created. I will create a file share in it. So file share has been created now. I am now connected to my VM and uh, let me find the URL to connect to my file share. So, and this is the URL to connect. So I'm going to copy this and go to my virtual machine and try to ping it. Now if I try to ping it, it will resolve into the public IP address. If I try to ping my URL for the file share it should give us the public IP address which it is giving now so that is fine because we do not have Azure private link we will do another test we will turn it to port 4445 and see whether that works or not yeah it is working so it connects to my file share and it connects it over the public internet because if I ping my file share it resolves to the public IP now we will create a private link and see how that works I will create an ad and under networking we'll search for private link click on create so we will click on the first option uh, we can give it any name so I will say private link to storage 112 the region should be same one as our VNet which is Australia Southeast this Azure storage account is in my directory so 
that's why I will select the first option the next option if you are trying to connect to a resource which is not in your Azure directory I will select storage account but these are the services which support Azure private link so this is the name of my storage account which is in Japan and I want to connect to file click on next so I only have one subnet so this is fine so now my private link has been created I could see a private DNS zone here the private endpoint has been created and if I go under my storage account and private endpoint connection I would see a private endpoint here so let us go to our VM and then try to connect and this time it should connect over the private IP over Azure backbone so if I try to ping the URL now it is resolving to 10.0.0.5 which is good earlier it was resolving to the public IP and if I try to telnet and connect to port 445 it should work so I'm telnetting on port 445 so it connects uh, to my storage account over port 445 and now this time it is connecting over private link so this was a small demo on how private link works I hope you liked it please uh, subscribe and press the bell icon for my channel so that you get alerts for the new videos and I will see you in my next video bye bye